Oh, hey. So I just realized I've now lived in Berlin three and a half years, which is the same time that I lived in Amsterdam three and a half years. So I thought it'd be fun if I did a video comparing the Germans and the Dutch. So I've thought about it a lot and I think the biggest difference between German and Dutch society is that German society is more collectivist. It's like there's a system and there's sort of a way that things work. And the focus is on this system and these rules and this order and everyone collectively has to sort of follow this system and this network rules and the regulation. All of society is on a schedule and a system and it all makes sense to them but it doesn't make sense to anyone else. It's very collectivist. No one can ever have more than anyone else. German society is very much like, Oh, you cannot have a cookie if I don't have a cookie. Whereas the Dutch are like, Ah oh, yes, I will eat my cookie. And if you do not have a cookie, it is because you are poor. The Dutch are way more focused on individualism. Like there is a system and they know there's a system, but they're gonna, they're gonna sort of find a way to move around the system to make as much money as they can. Dutch culture is very rooted in like trading and commerce. They're like pirate people. Like seriously, Dutch people love money so much. I'll give you an example. This one time I was dancing at a nightclub and someone pickpocketed me and actually like reached into my wallet through my pocket and plucked out 20 euros. And I was pissed off and I was telling a Dutch friend about it. And he said, ah, yes, and uh, how much money did he take? And I was like, 20 euros. And my Dutch friend went, mm -hmm. and I was like, um, Gert, are you admiring the man who pickpocketed me for how much money he made? And I swear to God, my friend Gert said, yes, well, it wasn't a good day for you, but it was a good day for him. So a lot of their laws are like really liberal and really progressive, but that's more so because they don't really give a shit about other people. So drug legalization, gay marriage, that's all fine because it doesn't affect them and their money. In terms of the overarching personality of a Dutch person versus a German person, I think a Dutch person in general is a little more dynamic, maybe a little more worldly. They tend to still sort of have a bit of a flat personality, but they're a bit cooler. And they have this sort of like edge to them. Like they're just, they're too cool for school. Like they don't really give a shit about you. They're fine, they're confident. German people can sometimes have a bit of a hard exterior, but they are actually really sweet and kind underneath. It's just that there are rules and there are systems. And that's the thing that's most annoying about living in Germany is how easily triggered they are. Like Dutch people do not have a temper, okay? I've never seen a Dutch person like really get angry. Dutch people are kind of like evil chess masters. Like if you really pissed them off and came between them and their money, oh, they wouldn't show it. It would be a silent kill. <laughs> yes, you do not know that I am angry at you right now, but I am slowly figuring out a way to destroy you. But then Germans are just these like emotional, temperamental babies sometimes. Like, have you ever returned a book to the library late? This was four days late. You know you must pay a fine. How? 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 Why? Why is this book late? Holy fuck. Like one rule is broken, one rule is bended, and they lose their shit. How can you constantly be living under that much stress and pressure? Like these people are gonna get heart disease. But as long as you're following all the rules, Germans can be really sweet. Like obviously there are very worldly cool young Germans, but even the ones that are like really German with that sort of like obsessive compulsive sort of like borderline spectrum personality, like they try to fit in, they wanna be cool. Like a really typical thing that Germans do, like you'll make a joke and they'll take the joke very seriously. Like this one time on Easter weekend, my neighbors were having a party and they were playing techno music in the afternoon. And I just posted a little message saying, "Ugh, oh, my neighbors are being so loud. Should I call the polizei? And one of my German friends was like, actually, yes, you can call the polizei. It is Sunday afternoon and they are not allowed to be this loud. Even in the afternoon, they are not allowed to be so loud. You must call the polizei. And I was like, Hannes, I'm joking. And he was like, oh, 
uh, yeah, I am also joking, you know. I I was being a typical German wanting to call the police, but I was actually just joking with you. You weren't joking, Hannes. Oh, the other biggest difference is that Germans have no pride in themselves. Like, they totally own up to World War II. They totally have to deal with the guilt of that. And so they just really, they just take it on. Oh, I know. My Oma and Opa, they were so niche good. Whereas the Dutch have this, like, plethora of horrible things they've done historically, and they just have complete denial about it. And when you try to confront them on it, they get so defensive, and I love it. So, um, Indonesia, tell me a bit about that. So, Suriname, what were you guys doing there? You guys weren't, like, war profiteers, were you? Yes, yeah, well, this is in the past. Now we are very liberal people, and this is not something that you have the right to talk about because you are not a Netherlanders. You are a Bouteländer, and you know nothing about our culture. <laughs> oh, you can really get under their skin if you want to. <laughs> so there you go. I love them both, and I've loved living in these countries. Oh my god, I'm so judgmental and stereotypical. Don't you just love it?